So now, I want to talk about another aspect of sound production, which is sound color. We often hear that phrase, sound color. What does it mean? Well, not only it has to do with the vibrato, but most importantly it has to do with the bow, where the bow is positioned, and how hard the bow presses. And here's the simple fact. When you bow away from the bridge, very lightly, your instrument will produce a sound that does not have very many high partials or high overtones in it. It's closer to something called a sine wave, which is simply the fundamental pitch without any overtones. Overtones are the things that make one instrument sound different from another on the same note. An oboe A, for example, has a different overtone structure than a flute A. But anyway, that's another matter. If we want to increase the amount of overtones in our sound, we move closer to the bridge. And as close as we can get to the bridge, that will produce the most complex and the most highly packed with overtones kind of sound we can make. Highly packed overtones is something that makes a sound project. And I am going to show you the difference between the way this sound cuts through as opposed to this sound. And to do that, I have a special experiment. So bear with me a second. I'm going to bring the camera over to the window, open it. And let in the street noise. And for the moment, the noise of the main street here by the train station in Freiburg will be our orchestra, our piano, our quartet, with maybe our violist playing too loud, and we'll see what sound cuts through from the other side of the room. Bridge, put the high overtones in your sound, and you'll really be heard. <laughs> 